Hello everyone. I am Dr. Kamran Yusuf Sandhu from the Research Incubation for Sustainable Development. Today's topic is about key steps to write synopsis for MPhil and PhD programs. Here I would like to mention that uh, it is great pleasure for me that I am here to share my views about the very interesting subject and which is synopsis development. Writing synopsis is an essential part for uh, completing MPhil and PhD research work. After getting admission in MPhil or PhD, a research scholar does face many problems for writing their research proposal. They don't understand that how to write. So many questions comes into their mind that what will be the format? How to decide title? So as to answer all these questions, it is important to understand the upcoming slides. So what is synopsis? A synopsis is a brief summary that gives audiences an idea of what a composition is about. It is a document of around 3000 to 4000 words and which is outlining the research you are going to undertake. Majority of universities required especially PhD applicants to submit a research proposal or synopsis when applying for a PhD program. So here is the layout of the synopsis. It will start from title. Before title there is cover page. I will show you in upcoming slides. Second number is introduction. Third one is background. Fourth one is uh, literature review. Then research methodology, contribution, limitations ethical considerations and reference and bibliography. So very first is title. Like you can see one of the examples role of intellectual capital in firm competitiveness. A case study of ready-made garment sector of Pakistan. This is just an example. This is one of my paper under development. In some cases there are predefined PhD projects and a title is often provided by the university. In other cases, applicant is expected to provide a preliminary title which will be further elaborated in the process of thesis writing. Second point is introduction. In introduction, it is very much clear with an example that it should include a brief history of the theme chosen. Like you have seen the title, so the history should be along that title. Introduction identifies the significance, validity, applicability of the analysis outcomes. So you have to direct the reader that after doing this research, they will reach at this conclusion. And you have to mention purpose of the study at this section. You can see the example of introduction in the era of knowledge-based economies, importance of intangible assets is increasing day by day so on and you can add headings as you want. Second point is introduction. So based on the problem analysis, the steps and procedures required to achieve the design and implementation of the results reached and the feasible solutions. The background actually directing towards problem statement or gap or need of doing research. Here question arises that how to develop a problem statement. So there is a little example like point number one, the ideal situation. Workers are producing 70 pieces per day as otherwise target is 100 pieces per day. Very much clear that there is a need of 100 piece production but workers are producing 70 pieces. Reality. Workers are behind the target and there is a gap of 30 pieces per day. This is reality. The gray area. Consequences. Recommendations for research to find out the reasons of low efficiency and possible solutions to overcome productivity problem. So here in this way you will explain problem statement in the context of your title which you have seen in the first slide. Third point background we have discussed. Fourth point is literature review. Literature review demonstrates the applicant's knowledge of the main research achievements in the area of study. You should pay attention to providing some of the key references in your area of research which requires doing extensive research on your 
part and how you will write it down. So first of all, review and writing. So in review and writing, you can see that you will find introduction, then second point body and third one is conclusion. So in introduction, you will establish purpose. In body, you will present analysis, literature analysis. And in conclusion, you will present key finding summary and gap. You can present literature view in different forms like chronological order which is time based you can start from the latest and you can move to the oldest you can use thematic approach and you have to focus on your theme like intellectual capital and performance the topic of this discussion so you can revolve around the research around this theme you can go for methodological approach so you can adopt some methodology or theoretical approach which theory is supporting the subject like in intellectual capital there is scandia navigator and then uh, nick bontis model and many other models so anyone can be adopted for writing the literature view you can see the example sample literature view short form there are three sections actually it is quite lengthy but just to show you an example it has been done like this so first of all there is key research summary the first portion second portion evaluation and application to the topic and third one analysis and findings so you have reviewed the literature and you have reached a point where you have identified a gap so based on that gap now you will develop a conceptual model here you can see in the middle there is human capital then structural capital relational capital and competitiveness so literature review is guiding us to do such kind of study for pakistan ready-made garment sector so as to find out the weaknesses and give them some recommendations here human capital is independent variable and other three are dependent variables moving further now you have to design your objectives you can write your objectives in this pattern or you can write objective of this research is to analyze impact of human capital on competitiveness of an organization and so on next is research question so a general tip small tip whatever objectives you have designed you can just write in question form so it will give you a consistency and riddle will easily be connected with different portions of your synopsis like you can write how human capital is associated with competitiveness of an organization how human capital is so is associated with structural capital of an organization so all the objectives have been rephrased in question form finally research hypothesis conceptual model is in front of you h1 so human capital is positively associated with competitiveness of an organization this is our hypothesis and similarly others h2 and h3 number five is research methodology in research methodology very first point is setting means geographical area where would you like to conduct this research where would you like to conduct this research whether in your city or province or some other area duration of study how many weeks months as it is time based activity and you are doing your mphil or phd and there is a time limitation so you have to fix you have to put some limit on time how many weeks or how many months you will complete it population what is your target population whether the whole city or whole province or country so here you have to mention then sample size so sampling can be probability or non probability so if you are doing your primary research so you have to understand and you have to mention the types next one is sample selection so you have exclusion and inclusion criteria that why you have selected some people and why not others whether they are not well suited for your research unit of analysis exact person to whom you will ask questions like in any organization you can go for like managers or assistant managers so all these two people or other people similar to this will be your unit of analysis 
data collection procedure whether you are going for primary or secondary data and if you are going for primary data have you developed instrument some questionnaire so you have to mention here data analysis procedure whether you are using regression analysis what kind of software you are using what kind of statistical technique you are adopting so here you have to mention next one is contribution of the study in this section you can write this study will add in the following ways like like uh, we have discussed in problem statement that uh, there is a deficiency of uh, 30 pieces during production process so you will recommend that human resource will be able to produce or achieve the target of 100 percent or how this study will empower or uh, give strength to organization in profitability and uh, productivity purpose then ethical considerations point seven so research participants should not be subject to harm in any ways whatsoever so while conducting the research our research should be positive not harming anyone there should not be any kind of plagiarism and you take care of the feelings and privacy of your respondents number eight references so here you can see the references you can use APA referencing system or any other required by your institute or university so you have to write in your synopsis document finally you can see synopsis template this is just an example it may start with the logo of your uh, university then the title a role of intellectual capital in firm competitiveness a case study of redmond government sector of pakistan then you can write synopsis for phd thesis to be presented at name of the university then by name your name should be here then registration number then your contact detail and your supervisor name so after completing the first cover page you will come to the all these points which i have explained in detail like starting from introduction study background problem statement literature review uh, let me recap like review conceptual model development objectives research questions research hypothesis point four research methodology so it will start from setting duration population sample size sample selection unit of analysis data collection procedures data analysis procedures number fifth is contribution of the study number six ethical consideration and number seven references bibliography i hope today's lecture about uh, synopsis development will be helpful and uh, you will be able to develop your synopsis accordingly this is just an example and you can use your universities thank you very much you are welcome for any query or question you can comment on comment box and from my side best of luck